team. Good morning. Yes, Arthur and Joe uh, both play for the Sac Rolling Kings. What strikes me uh, whenever I get to hang out with you guys is how excited you are about mm -hmm. this team, ranked fifth in the nation. So, what's the road been to get to Kentucky? Uh, go ahead, Art. Uh, the road has been uh, it's been an amazing journey. We've been really pushing hard all season. Um, you know, we started back in I would say what May. Yeah. June worked hard all summer, um, have been, already been to tournaments in Seattle, San Diego, twice in Las Vegas, our home tournament here um, in Davis. And it's just been, a, been an amazing journey so far. I've been working really hard, and we can't wait to get to nationals in Louisville, Kentucky. This is Come your on. first year, right, yeah. Arthur? You, Joe, you've been doing it for a little longer. But, Arthur, for your first year, what was that like coming in uh, to something like this? Uh, it was awesome. Um, you know, I love playing with these guys. All these teammates are, are my brothers. We even have a girl on our team who's like our little sister. And, you know, we, we've been working really hard, and I, I'm just uh, really blessed to be, be able to be a part of this team and um, can't wait, like I said, to get to Nationals. That's our goal. That's what we've been fighting for all year. Um, you know, we've been beating each other up in the gym, <laughs> you know, so. Your team really helps rise each other up. And, Joe, come on, humble brag here. Arthur was telling us. 66 points in a game? 66, My yeah. My gosh, you are a monster out oh, there. You know what? A lot of the success I have is from the hard work that these guys put in. You know, the big guys, the higher level injuries, they get to do all the scoring and have all the fun, but it's a lot of the dirty work that these guys do. Now, this is a family affair. Your wife helps coach. Absolutely. When do you guys leave for Kentucky, and how much money do we need to raise? Uh, you know, we leave for Kentucky in about two weeks. Uh, you know, as far as raising money, it's, you know, we've reached about a thousand bucks, but anything we can raise helps. We had a goal of about 5,000 to 7,000, and uh, it's moving a little slow right now. We have a lot of guys to get to national, a lot of first timers that we want to get there. So anything we can raise is, is a big help. And a lot, what a lot of people don't know, too, you guys do custom wheelchairs as well for the, um, to play basketball. That's not cheap. Mm -hmm. And so on top of that, plus the travel yeah. to get out there, this is really important uh, that people are supporting you guys. Now, how many teams will be in Kentucky that you'll play against? Uh, there'll be about 16 teams, uh, the top 16 teams in the country um, at the championship one division level that we play in. Uh, so it's the highest level of competitive wheelchair basketball. And then there'll also be two other divisions with 16 teams each and then also youth division. Now, is it like you lose one game and you're out or how's that work? Yeah, you, you lose the first game, you move into the loser's bracket, and there's no way in the way the tournament set up is you can't fight your way back. Okay. So if you lose that one game, that's, that's it for you. But fifth in the nation, you guys are looking pretty good. We're looking tough. We've worked hard to get there, and it's, it's been a lot of hard work, but you know we're really happy to be fifth in the nation, and we're going to go work hard some more and try to win. Now, where can people find you guys uh, so they can help donate? I, and I'm telling you guys, like, $5. Oh, they're showing, they're showing your medal when you played with the uh, USA team. Yeah. Yeah, tell us about that real quick? Uh, you know, I, I've been very blessed. I, I, I won a couple of national championships with Wisconsin Whitewater and then got to go play in Spain and Germany professionally. And then I joined Team USA for about 10 years, played in Beijing and in London. Uh, we didn't win in Beijing, but we won that medal in London, bronze medal. So it's like gold to me. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would be like gold to me yeah, as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. so uh, back to finding you guys, because really, any little bit yeah. helps. Yeah. Five Every, if, and if so many people donated five dollars, you guys would be there already. Absolutely. So, what? Yeah. Where can they find you guys to help? Uh, we're asking for support from anybody listening, and, and uh, we really want to get the Sacramento uh, community behind us. Um, you can find us on Facebook, uh, we're the Sacramento Rolling Kings. Um, we also uh, have a GoFundMe page on there with links available so you can go and click on there and donate anything. I mean, every dollar counts, and um, this is what we love to do. It's our, it's our passion. It's what we wake up every morning to, to get up and do, and we can't wait to get out there. So if you guys could, you know, really support us, we would uh, really appreciate it from Capital the bottom City of our hearts. Capital City Adaptive Athletes Foundation as well. That's our okay. nonprofit. Capital yeah. City Adaptive Athletes right. Foundation. Okay, yeah. got it, got it. And if you haven't seen the game, my gosh, these guys are athletes. Cody? It's rough. I love it. I 